Hi guys, this is KidLink77 and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VIII. In the last episode, we finally spoke to Brains, and we learned that Dual Magus was heading towards the western continent. So we decided, you know, we'd have to find a way over, uh, you know, to there, and with that we would need a boat. We found a boat, but it's stuck in the middle of nowhere in the desert. Uh, and we figured we'd go to Trodan Castle to maybe get some more information. Yeah, we learned about boats, or, you know, there's like some... Uh, maybe a book on boats there or something. That's what Trodane or, you know, King Tro said. Anyway, uh, what I did off screen was um, I level grind, or not level grinded, I uh, I went hunting for uh, a bomb shard uh, by killing those, um, you know, those rock bombs. Now, uh, a couple of things happened. First one was I spent an hour and a half uh, grinding for the rock bombs, uh, you know, grinding rock bombs, ended up falling asleep, and I'm like, oh man, I still haven't got the rock bomb. I've gone up like three levels. And yeah, we're gonna restart. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I don't want the clock to be all weird and stuff. Second time, uh, you know, just like, you know, like I got it this morning. I'm like, yeah, let's, uh, let's do it this time. And um, so let me tell you something about rock bombs is they can cast kamikaze. And they uh, killed everybody. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I was like, yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, scrap that one. And third time was a charm because I... Uh, Grinded for maybe you know four or five minutes, and I got a rock bomb shard. So yeah, that was an experience. So anyway, let's uh, go ahead to our alchemy pot, and uh, let's now put finally <laughs> put this in use again. It's been a while. Perfect timing. While well, you've been asleep at night, I've been burning the midnight oil again to improve the alchemy pot. Look, made a breakthrough. You're no longer restricted to two ingredients. You can use up to three at a time now. Now you can make even more exciting items. What a boon to your alchemy studies. No, no, you can thank me later. So yeah. Uh, around this time, you can now make, um, you can now put three ingredients into the pot. It's actually a bit of a surprise, actually. Uh, generally, I thought it was not until later in the game that you could do this, but I guess you, you can do it now. Yeah, if you fall asleep, uh, he'll, you'll see Trode working on the Aqui Pot again, and yeah, so that's pretty cool. So now let's go ahead and put this baby to work. We're going to put the Rock Bomb Shard in there. And now, a while ago, we got the Magma, or sorry, the, the Wizard Staff. And, um, yeah, we got that when we were in a cave, uh, uh, you know, going through Wisher's Peak. So, let's go and put that in there as well, and then start cooking, yeah. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So, yeah, so it's kind of nice that we can now have early access to, uh, three ingredients in the pot. Ooh, alright. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Well, uh, the item that we get is a pretty good one. Uh, you'll see very shortly. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna meet you guys where the boat is, uh, you know, in the desert. Uh, so then we continue on our journey, so uh, I will be right back. Alright, so we've made it back over here at the boat. So, let's continue on our journey. We have a lot of ground to cover today, so yeah. So let's continue on. Yeah, alright. Uh, now, like I said, we have a lot of ground to cover. We have a lot of new enemies to uh, talk about also. And uh, there's some stuff I didn't get to show off, you know, in last episode, like, you know, enemy-wise. So we'll see how that goes. Now... Let's uh, follow... Hi, puppy. What's a puppy doing here? Huh. Um, let's uh, make our way up this way. There's one more new enemy in the desert that I would like to show off. If it appears, it's fine. If not, oh well. Uh, we'll find it, you know, later. Am I going the right way? I don't know if I'm going the right way. No, I'm not. All right, yeah. After battling the same monsters for hours and hours... Oh, it feels like such a grind now. I, I cannot stand the sight of mud mannequins anymore or muddy hands. Ugh. Oh, well, we're done here pretty much, so that's good. All right, so let's make our way this way, going the right way this time. Double-checking the map just to make sure, yeah. We're almost out of the wasteland and out of the mud mannequins. Ugh. So, yeah, and as I say that, I get into a fight with four mud mannequins and two muddy hands. Ugh. All right, let me see. Am I going the right way again? I just want to make sure I get out of here. We do have to come back here, uh, you know, later, of course, but... Uh, we're not going to be here super long, but by that time, hopefully, holy water will take uh, some effect. But anyway, I stand corrected. We are not out of the desert yet. <laughs> yeah, it still had the desert theme there. That was kind of weird. But regardless, let's see. Uh, we want to go... Where am I going? We want to go this way. We're going to go towards the uh, the east. We do need to head. If you look on your map, uh, we, you do see a cave. We do need to go that way. But I want to go this way first. And I even, like... Oh man, I just like, I cannot talk. Oh, it's over here this way, yeah. Just, what I find is like, when I just wake up in the morning, it's, oh, it's just like, bleh. 
Uh, yeah, I can barely talk. But anyway, we have new enemies, and I should have healed Angelo. He's a lot looking very good. We have Pongos, or Pink Pongos, you could have seen in the desert. And we have Garudas, which is a brand new enemy. Now, uh, let's see. We want to go ahead and take out the... Uh, I guess we'll take out the Pink Buffaloes. And uh, Jessica will use Bang. <gasps> And I probably should have healed with Angelo. I'm an idiot, but we'll have to make do. It's all right. Anyway, Jessica start off with Bang Pink Pongos. Um, they either do nothing, or they hit pretty hard, or they can do a crit, which is not good. Oh, Angelo might die here. That would not be very good. All right. Well, the hard hitters are out. Uh, yeah. There you go. Okay. Cool. We'll probably have to heal him next round. We'll see. All right, and none of them died. Yay. All right. Come on, Yangus. Take out one of them. I think he's attacking that one. So. Oh, that'll save us some trouble. Yeah, all right. Anyway, let's see. Go ahead and do all out. You do that one over there. You're going to heal yourself because you're not looking good. And you will do bang again. And yay. Let's see. Take him out. Oh, yep, we got one. That's good. Yay, just got And not quite anyone else. Any oh, <laughs> I like how they miss. It's kind of weird. They, like, stand on edge. And, yeah, that's the killer move that they can do. They'll kill themselves uh, and they'll hurt us really badly. So, yeah. You saw it right there. Yay. Ooh, no. Oh, God. That's a good thing we healed. Oh, oh my goodness. All right. Let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do that. You'll do that. You'll do that. And you'll do that. And that should hopefully kill. We'll see. Oh, dear Jessica. <laughs> yeah, now we're looking good. Can we kill? Yay. Well, we got him. Let's try to kill the pink. Okay, he's not doing anything. Whew. All right, thank goodness. Okay. And there you go. Yeah, I could have handled that a little bit better, but yeah, stuff happens. All right, and they'll level up. So like I said, I turned off the system after I leveled up everyone like twice. Because I was like, that's too much. And I'm not going to remember like who got what in each level up. So yeah, I figured we just reset. Normally, it's not something I would do, but I don't want this to like, I don't want this to be part of the level grinding thing. Because level grinding will come later for me. I don't want it to be part of like the main, main story. So you'll see. Anyway, let's make our way up this way. And uh, there is a dangerous uh, creature um, who is rumbling around over here. Uh, so watch out for him. You could easily take him on. Well, you could take him on, but it's, uh, it's, it's a bit of a challenge. So, yeah. All right, let's make our way this way. Kind of hard to tell where you're going, but, you know, it's a thing. Easy to deal with it. And let's make our way up there. We got a new enemy also. We have Diablo. Or is that Diablo? I don't know. Uh, let's, uh, go ahead. We're gonna take out, uh, we're gonna go for him first, actually, because he could be dangerous. Uh, let's see, we'll do that. Alright. And, uh, yeah, so Diablo, kind of the same as the, uh, demons. Uh, they can do some nasty stuff when they roll their eyes, but, uh, yeah. I haven't actually even shown it off yet. Hopefully he'll do it this round. That'd be nice if he did. Come on, do it for me. No, I just forgot to attack her. Yeah, a bit stronger, but, you know. That's how the cookie crumbles in the enemy place. And he's dead. Yay. All right. And a sap. That's, that's manageable. Ooh, 24. That's pretty bad. <laughs> oh, well. All right. Let's see. You will kill everyone else here. You will do that. You will do that. And you will do that. And hopefully we can kill one before it self-destructs on us. Yeah, that's good. There you go. And Yangus will finish him off after he attacks him, sadly. He's very fast. So, yeah. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Uh, I'm still like, I can't get over how good that ramen was. I'm like, oh man, authentic ramen? Ooh, it was so good. Ooh, let's see. Cow. Ooh, yay. <laughs> Great. I don't know why you would even bother picking that stuff up. Cow poop is actually relatively useful in this game, though. You can do it to make some interesting stuff. You'll see. Now, sadly, I cannot still hear if the alchemy pot's gone off. So, I actually, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and double check the alchemy pot. Let's see. Anything good? Well, it won't be long now. All right, so we are we're gonna check it very very soon again uh, I think when we get what we're looking for we will All right, so what I'm probably gonna do. Ooh, hello. What I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna cut after I get what I want over here I'm gonna cut to like a certain spot um, And uh, I'll meet you there just said, uh, you know save on the traveling so now that guy over there you could kill him right now Ooh, new enemy. Oh, you could kill this guy, too. Oh, boy. This guy can hit pretty hard, so be wary. Swoosh. That's going to hurt pretty badly. And, yeah, that's not too bad, but still. All right. Go ahead and tag everything here. And another one. Oh, boy. Ow, that hurts. All right. So, let's see. Do that. There you go. 
do that. There you go. And do that. And one more. He has an ability to use like multiple swipes, and they can hurt somebody pretty bad for like 30 damage. So yeah. And all right, cool. Okay. Let me go ahead and rest up everyone because yeah, that was uh, a bit of a beating from that from that whoosh. So yeah. All right, do that. Do that. Let's do that. And do that. Okay. Now there is another enemy I do want to show off, and he's a fun one. Now that guy, again, we could kill him, but it is a challenge at this point of the game because he has a lot of HP, so we're gonna ignore him for the time being. What I want to do is I want to come over here and get the treasure over here. It's a bit out of the way, but it's worth it. So let's come on over here, and we get... Is it following me? No, it's not. <laughs> and here we get... We get a seed of magic. Awesome! Now, uh, let's see. In that battle, the it was a Hawkman. He did like a diving strike. And he took 60 damage off of 8, so yeah, watch out for that. Alright, so now guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to meet you guys, um, you know, like where we diverse off the trail, and um, yeah, I'll uh, be right back. Okay, so we made it back to where uh, I wanted to be. Let me show you on the map where exactly we are. Yeah, we're right in front of, uh, you know, a cave, so we'll uh, check that out in a moment. Now, first off, let me double check the alchemy pot just in case. I didn't hear it go off, but it might have been because I was talking. But I didn't hear it go off when I was walking over here, which it should have gone off if it did. Let's see. Ah, the moment of truth. I can really wait. All right. So, we get the Magma Staff. I kind of spoiled it earlier. I apologize. But, yeah, this item is, uh, this is the only way you can get this item is, uh, through making it. Now, let me, uh, explain how the Magma Staff, uh, works. So, uh, what it is, is it's a new weapon. You know, Jessica, we could give it to her. Um, but, you know, it makes her weaker a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to give this to Yangus. They may be wondering why he can't use it, as you can plainly see. Well, he can't use it, um, you know, as an actual, like, weapon, but he can use it as an item in battle. So that means that he has uh, the ability to cast another little spell, which is really useful. Now that's my phone going off, and somebody is uh, texting me. Oh, well. Uh, so uh, let me see. Let me go, go ahead. I want to see if I can show it off. Maybe I'll show it off in the next battle. But let's make our way this way and continue on our journey. I guess I can show you the uh, the power of that staff now, actually, because the enemies here aren't super dangerous. But we'll go ahead and use this. Let me see if we can uh, make it work. We'll do that. We'll do that, and we'll do we'll do that. Sure. All right, and out. That's gonna hurt, but that's okay. Now do that. There you go. I think H probably gonna kill the slimes because they're super weak. Yeah, well, he killed you know most of them. So anyway, let's show you. With this, we get. Bang, or I don't know, I think it's bang that we get, but look at that damage, it's really good. Uh, it does like an average of that amount, so yeah, and it also works on, you know, hordes of enemies, not just like, you know, certain groups. So, uh, yeah, that's a pretty good thing. Now, let's uh, make our way over here, let me go ahead and heal up Jessica. Like I say, we're running out of uh, MP pretty fast, because, yeah, uh, like I say, this, dangerous, this, this place is dangerous, but the enemies start to get a little tough. Let's go and talk to the cow here, get a bottle of milk. And uh, let's make our way through this uh, cave over here. Now, um, the enemies in here are actually really low level. So I'm going to go ahead and put on a, um, uh, a holy water so that the low uh, level enemies, you know, don't really bother us. You can fight, like, Drakis in here, uh, Slimes, I think. Uh, you can fight other enemies in here, too, I think, also. I think we're, like... Actually, hang on. What am I doing? This is a new enemy. What am I thinking? Uh, I've, uh, I don't, I don't remember if I showed this off or not. Did we? Well, we'll see. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we had Devil Moss over here. Nothing too special about these guys, but, you know, hey, they're, they're a thing. I probably could have actually had Yangus do the, uh, uh, the staff, but they can cast Poison Breath. Uh, so yeah, they mostly are both poison. Yay! I might end up actually, uh, using, um, some antidote, uh, herbs, um, just because we have, uh, quite a few of them, so yeah. And they do relatively, you know, decent damage, so watch out for that also. Alright, there you go. And... Alright, yay, you're gonna kill one of them. Like I say, I probably should have had Yingus use the, uh, uh, use the Magma Staff, but it's whatever. Did he already get a turn? I guess he did. Huh. Alright, we'll do that. There you go. And that should kill one of them? Uh, not quite. Alright, that's just pretty good now, actually. She's gonna get a lot stronger later on. She gets better whip. She's had this whip for a long time, but it's her best whip for quite a while, so yeah. Alright, awesome. Alright, let's see. And do we get a level up? No. I'm hoping that we get a level up at some point. Generally, I have, uh, like, 
they have a level up at least once or so. Um, let's see, we'll do, uh, do, 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 do. We'll go ahead and use the uh, Anadorbs. We have a few of them, so it's good. Don't really need them for anything special either, you know, unless we have to cure poison and uh, eight dead. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, let's see. We'll go ahead and do that. Do a heal for you and a heal for you. There you go. Let's continue on our way. Yeah, I forgot that I've seen the moss before, but I hadn't actually shown them yet. So, yeah, I was like, wait a minute, hang on. Have we gotten to a fight here? I don't quite recall. <laughs> oh, well. Let's make our way out of here now. And over here, you can see, we're kind of out of the area. Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, I was like, wait a minute, what? Uh, there is a church over there, so we're going to make our way over there, actually. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, sadly, this area that we're going to go to, we cannot really warp to. Uh, but, you know, we'll show you why in a moment. <laughs> a cow, okay. Yeah, that was actually a fight where we got, into a, uh, we got into a fight with a moth and some dancing devils. And dancing devils we haven't seen in a long time. They're really weak, so kind of weird how they put everything out here. But anyway, let's check out this church over here. This church is uh, your best friend <laughs> for this point in the game because you really need this church, yeah. Um, we have uh, this little lady, hello. It's been a long time since we've had visitors here in this poor, lonely land. Used to be so lively around these parts, but now no one ever comes by. It's all because of those cursed thorns at Castle Trodane to the north here. What a terrible affair. Oh, so we're getting relatively close, I think, um, to uh, to uh, the castle. Yeah. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and, yeah, we can rest up over here. Now, it's pretty expensive. Like, the hilltop hut is, like, 12 coins. Uh, here, it's 60. So, yeah, good jumping price. But we're making some pretty good cash right now. So anyway, let's see. Uh, that's uh, fine. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's talk to uh, you. Heard a rumor about a magic key at Dram uh, Castle Trodane, so I went looking for it. Couldn't believe my eyes. I don't mean to interfere in your business, but I wouldn't go there if I were you. You might end up getting cursed too. Sorry, did I scare you? That wasn't my intention. It's just never mind. What if <laughs> we don't forget about that and uh, do some business? All right, so we have a shop here. Now he doesn't really sell a lot of stuff. Uh, we're gonna buy some holy waters. I wanna buy, uh, we're gonna buy seven, so I just have an even 10, because we're gonna be, you know, using them later. All right, now we're do there. Now let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna buy a fur hood. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give this to eight, because, you know, he could definitely use it. Uh, yeah, he needs a slightly better, um, better thing. Actually, no, I don't wanna do that. Yeah, we'll have somebody else carry the goods and go to the bag. Uh, there you go, okay. And, uh, yeah, so pretty good for, uh, for eight. Yangus could wear it too, but, uh, he has a better helmet right now. Okay, so, let me go ahead, and what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and equip the new helmet. Uh, we've been recording for 30 minutes, but most of it's been me walking around back and forth. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to call it here. I do still want to keep going. <gasps> oh, excuse me. All right, let's see. Go ahead and do that. There you go. And can Jessica wear this? Uh, well, Angelo could, so that's good. Yeah, he doesn't have a helmet yet, <laughs> so go ahead and equip that for him. Yay. All right, there you go. Okay, now, uh, yeah, we're going to continue on our, uh, on our way. Like I say, most of the recording's been walking around for, like, you know, I think I'm going to be cutting, like, 10 minutes of this, so we'll see. All right, anyway, let's uh, make our way over here, and let's continue on our journey. Now, sadly, you cannot warp uh, back to this church. Kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just show you. That it's uh, not a place to warp to, sadly. So, all right, let's uh, make our way over here this way. Let's head north uh, towards uh, Castle Trodane. Finally, we can finally now get there. Yeah, and uh, it's been quite a journey. Yeah, getting here not the most fun, but <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh dear. Now uh, we could, I think, go up there. Um, actually, no, we're fine where we are. Yeah. Um, there is a there are a couple of chests around here that we cannot open sadly because we don't you know. We, uh, we don't have the means of doing so. And there are some monsters here that are uh, a bit of a challenge as well. So we do need to watch out for those too. Uh, you will you will see, you will see. Uh, there is a monster though that we do want to find and fight. And we'll get into him, you know, a little bit later. So let's see, we are going, am I going the right way? There's a chest down over there. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, well, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and find get that chest and holy water's off. Yay! There's a monster over there. We could fight him, but we're gonna ignore him for now because uh, he is a danger. Ooh, level up from that! Yay! All right, Jessica's level 19, so it gets a pretty good in uh, increase in the HP and MP. 
Zooty up, and we get the spell Oomph. Now, what this does is this doubles a party member's attack, which is really good. She should be making a lot of use out of this one. Oh, baby. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put... Uh, we'll put her all into whips. Let's see. And, ooh, we get a lusty lasher. Yay, so lashings of love. All right, cool. All right, let's continue on here. Now, I'm hoping that this chest isn't what I think it is. Let's see. Are you going to work? Yeah. Yeah, this is a can of box. Great, but, you know, yeah, it's there. I wanted to show you guys that off, so... Let's go ahead and fight him, kill him. He should be pretty easy. So, yeah. So, uh, don't... Ooh, he dodged that one. But, ooh, there you go. Okay, it's like, ooh, wait a minute. Am I thinking this wrong? <laughs> he should have died a while ago. All right. Yeah, what I wanted to do is just wanted to show you that chest, and I wanted to show you that, um, the cannon box, you know, monster thing that's right over here. And, oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, thank goodness he didn't try to kill me. Uh, there's another one over here, too, so let's go ahead and make our way here. I don't know if we can open this one, though, so let me see. Let me double check to make sure. Can we? Uh, let's see. And, oh, yeah, we can. Oh, so cool. Well, I guess there is a way to reason why we want to go down there for 630 gold not bad at all make up for uh, uh, for the um, gold we spent for that for hood all right so let's uh, make our way over here and uh, let's uh, continue on our journey we're gonna backtrack just a little bit and uh, yeah Ooh, we have a new uh, we have a new bunch of enemies now this uh, we haven't seen we've seen all these guys except for the big fat one that's both and uh, yeah well we've never seen them all together uh, let me, uh, let me, uh, try something real fast. I want to see if we can maybe take him out super fast. Let's go for Psych Up. These guys can still hit pretty hard, so we're going to do a Kabuff. And I want Jessica to do, uh, uh, we'll do, um, we'll do Oomph on Aiden. And, yeah, he's going to cast Kabuff on himself. It's not good. All right. And, yeah, so he's not, you know, too dangerous right now. Uh, but let's go ahead and get everyone up to max, because, yeah, why not? Oh, what's going on? the head, I'll form the legs, form the arm, I'll form the other arm. Power four, become one! We have Mumbo Jumbo. Wow, yeah, so that's all been leading up to that. This guy, now, he is a challenge. He can be dangerous. Be careful. Thankfully, they threw all these guys at us when, uh, you know, like, separately. So, yeah, uh, this guy, he has 345 HP. So, he can be dangerous. That's why I wanted to get, like, some buffs up and uh, a couple of psych ups, you know, on these two anyway. So, we're going to go ahead and have him use his new Falcon Slash. Watch this. We're going to have him use Parallax. Uh, you're going to go ahead and cast another buff, and you're going to do Oomph on 8. And this will double his attack, too. It's really good. Now, watch this. Yeah, look at that damage. Pretty good. That's an Oomph and a Tense Up. Very nice. All right, so the first thing of... Uh, of Falcon Slash did 80, the second one did 40, that's because, what, oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, he is not a pushover, though, just because he did that, no, doesn't mean he's, uh, doesn't mean he's, uh, gonna fall super easy, let's see, and 87, not bad, not bad, all right, cool, and, yeah, Star Tension went down, but that's okay, all right, we'll do another Falcon Slash, uh, you will do another Parallax, you're gonna cast another buff, you're gonna do Oomph on, uh, you're gonna do Oomph on Yangus. Generally, I would have, like, an Assault Auto going, but, uh, he, um, he went for the transformation a little faster than I'm used to, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Okay. And, yeah, that's just after, like, three kabuffs, he did 11 damage, so he can be a challenge. And, uh, there he goes. Now, the way Falcon Slash works is that it does, like, the first hit will do less damage than, um, than, like, you know, a regular hit would do at regular strength. But he gets two turns. It's like, I think it's like half, I think. But you get like two strike. No, it's like a, it's thirded, I think. But you get two strikes, so it's really good. All right, and we get 309 experience points and 41 gold. Not bad at all. So definitely, uh, it's a fun little fight. Um, not really worth it, I'd say, to watch all that. But I did want to show that off to you. So, all right, anyway, let's make our way up over. That is not where I want to go. I want to go down here. All right, let's make our way this way. And I think I've covered all the new enemies. And I can see that cloud looks murky. Ugh. Nothing too special with that monster. Yeah, just a Garuda, so. And, uh, yeah. Oh, we are getting... Oh, we are on the outskirts. We are super close. Okay, huh. Uh, let me see. I'm looking for something around here, though. Uh, I guess it's not here yet. Okay, so let's make our way up here. And, uh, hopefully we don't run into another monster. All right. We're finally here, guys. 
this is Castle Trodane. And with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and call an episode. In the next one, we're going to explore Castle Trodane and see if we can find any information on, uh, you know, this uh, the magical boat. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. You have an awesome day, and I hope you take care.